If you have the DJI Pocket 2, you have a small gimbal camera that can shoot great stabilized video. If you're an online creator, vlogger, or instructor, you can use this as part of your tools for what you do. If you have the creator combo, you also have the do-it-all handle, which connects to its wireless microphone, and you also have an external input for your mic of choice. But what if you only have the DJI Pocket 2 and don't have the creator combo? Or if you have the creator combo, what if you want to leave the do-it-all handle and wireless mic behind to have an even lighter setup? Can you still get great audio with the onboard mics? In this video, I'm going to show you the different modes of the DJI Pocket 2 using just the onboard mics. Welcome to Tech Travel Beyond. I'm Chuck, and today we're talking about the DJI Pocket 2. Yes, all the big creators have moved on to the latest and greatest gadgets here on YouTube. But if you're like me, you didn't get a demo model of the DJI Pocket 2 to show off and play with. You've either bought one recently, or maybe you've gotten one as a gift. Now, as with all gadgets and tools, the more you know about them, the better you'll do when you use them, right? Well, in a previous video, I went over some great features of the DJI Pocket 2, and I did most of that video with just the onboard mics. So in today's video, we're going to explore the audio from just the built-in microphones on the DJI Pocket 2. They're a great improvement to the original Osmo Pocket, and what's even better is there are three different modes within the Pocket 2 settings that you can change to get decent audio with just the Pocket 2. And after I cover the three modes, I'll show you a very inexpensive way to hook up a lavalier mic to the DJI Pocket 2 so you can have an on-the-go vlogging setup without having to buy or carry the do-it-all handle and without having to charge a wireless mic from that creator bundle. So where are the four onboard mics on the DJI Pocket 2? Unlike the original Osmo Pocket, which only had two mic openings, one on the control side and one on the very bottom, you'll see each of the four new mic openings on each side of the device. The first one is right below the touchscreen monitor, right above the record button on the control side. The other three openings are right below the gimbal head, one on the right, one on the left, and one on the front non-control side of the device. And here's something important to know. DJI doesn't have the sound modes officially listed in the manual I've linked in the description below. These modes are described at the bottom of their webpage for the DJI Pocket 2, and I had to figure out what these modes mean through their promotional graphics. You'll see these as I show you each mode. And so now, let's take a look at the sound modes and how to control them. The first thing you have to do to control sound modes on the DJI Pocket 2 is this. Make sure you have it set to record video and enable Pro Mode. When you turn on Pro Mode, you'll see more control settings for exposure, frame rate, and other settings that you can change just beyond the basic auto mode. And here's how you do that. When you first turn on the device, make sure you see the video camera icon on the bottom left of the screen. If you don't see that, you're probably in photo mode because you'll see a still camera icon. To change to video mode, just do a single press of the button to the right of the record button and you'll be able to change between video or photo mode. Once you're there, let's enable pro mode so you have more control over some advanced settings like sound. To do that, swipe down on the touch screen until you see the gear or setup icon. Then swipe left on the touch screen until you get to the square icon labeled pro. Press the icon until you see the square filled in with white and the Pro Mode letters are black. This means Pro Mode is on. Now swipe up until you get back to the main screen and you'll now see a yellow rectangle labeled Pro on the top left of the screen. Pro Mode is now on. Now that you have access to the advanced menu settings pages, let's go there. Tap on the yellow rectangle Pro Mode icon. The first screen you'll see are the advanced video settings like exposure, white balance, color, and focus settings. Since this is the advanced video settings page, let's instead go to the audio settings by swiping left on the touch screen. Now we're in the audio settings menu. For most of your videos, you probably want stereo in the top left square, so leave it there. Unless you do specialized audio, you don't want to see mono in the top left control square. For volume, I found the best settings for the mics is with all of the microphone icon filled in with white. 
So press this square until the bottom, middle, and top of the mic icon are filled in. This is the highest level of sensitivity to the onboard mics and it works well, especially if you're outdoors. You can also press until you see auto filled in, but in that mode, you might have audio volume going in and out as a camera will automatically adjust volumes if your scene has varying levels of silence and sound. The bottom left icon is for wind noise if you're outside and your mileage may vary depending upon the conditions and amount of wind. Try this setting out and unless it's really breezy, you might find more success with this off. Action cameras like the GoPro and the DJI Action have this setting too, and by turning this on you might give a muffled or lower sound to your audio track. Finally, the bottom right square is where you change settings for the DJI Pocket 2 and how you want onboard microphones to work. And this is great because you can give focus to your audio sources in relation to where they may be to the DJI Pocket 2. As you can see, the default setting for microphones is all. That means all microphones are on, and while you're filming, the feature called sound tracking is on. As you can see by this graphic, wherever the gimbal is pointed, the DJI Pocket 2 will balance the mics so you hear more audio from the direction the gimbal is pointing. And this is great for general audio and gives you a more immersive sound with focus towards where the gimbal is pointed. Now let's see an example of that. And if you can, try listening to this with headphones on so you can hear even more of the audio. Okay, so this is all mode with the DJI Pocket 2. I have face tracking on because I'm gonna walk around the actual camera itself. And we're gonna try out the feature that's called sound tracking. On the DJI Pocket 2, the website shows that the camera will follow you around and the sound will also track to where the camera is pointed. So let's test that out right now. I think that's a pretty good feature because say if you were like me, I'm a one-man camera operation here in the park and so I want to make sure I have good sound. I want to make sure the camera follows me as I make my way to the back of the camera or actually the control side of the camera. This is the side that you would see if you were filming somebody, but I have it filming me. And so as I walk around the gimbal, hopefully we're picking up sound. As we continue, I'm going to go to the front side of the camera, the side that your talent would usually be on. And I'm actually looking at the back of the handle. And this is the sound test of all with sound tracking on the DJI Pocket 2. The next mode is front mode. You get there by pressing on the bottom right audio control square until you see front. This will focus audio to the front of where the gimbal head is pointed. The microphones on the back and side will minimize so you get audio focus on the front of the scene which is being filmed. And let's take a look at how that works. So this is front mode with the DJI Pocket 2. Wherever the camera is facing is the front of where the gimbal is facing. So that's where the audio is focused right now on the front side of the camera. I can see the actual handle of the camera. The other side would be the control side, but I have the sound focused on this side. If I were to go to the side of the camera, I'm sure you're not picking up as much sound as you would as you would be um, when I was on the front side of the camera right here. And let's try this out on the right side of the camera. And this is what the sounds like as I move to the right side of the camera. And then I'm gonna come back around and I'm back on the front side of the camera with the DJI Pocket 2 sound test. The last mode is labeled front and back. If you depress the bottom right audio control square, this would be the next audio setting. What this means is where the gimbal is pointed is the front of the scene and the audio will be recorded with a front mic. The camera will also be using the back mic or the mic towards the back of the gimbal head. This is ideal where you may be filming somebody and speaking or asking questions while you're behind the camera. So it's audio is being focused on the front and rear microphones of the camera. Let's show you how this works. Okay, I'm back on the front side of the camera and this is front and back mode with the audio settings for the DJI Pocket 2. It means the front side, the gimbal side of the camera is focused with sound and then the back side, if I were to go to that side, would have sound too. So let's test that out. I'm gonna walk around and about the same distance, I'm on the back side of the camera. If I get closer to hands held length of the camera, this is what it sounds like. But if I was equidistant, to the actual camera itself from where I was standing previously. This is what it sounds like with the DJI Pocket 2. I'm back to the front side and this is the final test of the front and back mode of the DJI Pocket 2 microphone setting. 
So as you can imagine, with front and back audio mode, you can do an impromptu interview with somebody or record audio while filming and interacting with somebody in a vlogging situation. This works almost like the Deity Dual external microphone, which does something similar. Now another mode DJI talks about as a new feature on the Pocket 2 is this. If you were to use the digital zoom feature to zoom into a scene, the audio zooms and increases in volume in relation to how zoomed the video becomes. While I haven't tested this out, this seems to be another feature for improved sound. But just remember, zooming isn't optical or lens zooming on the Pocket 2. It's a digital crop of the sensor image, so your resolution may not be so great, especially if you're filming in 1080p. Now, before I get on to how to hook up your own less expensive vlogging sound setup for the DJI Pocket 2, let me know if you like the new audio and mic features of the DJI Pocket 2 by hitting that like button below. Now, if you want a lightweight setup with a lavalier mic, you can connect one to the DJI Pocket 2. You simply need a USB-C audio adapter for the DJI Pocket. I have one from Movo, and this one is made by Ceramonic, and you simply plug it into the bottom of the DJI Pocket 2 USB-C port. The link is in the description below. Plug in your favorite TRS lavalier mic, and you can narrate a scene you're recording with better audio using a mic attached to the Pocket 2. You don't have to recharge a wireless mic, and you can attach the mic to your shirt and pocket the wire until you need to use it when you're filming. Once you connect that, you'll see an audio icon on the top right of the screen, and you'll see your sound input reflected by the levels displayed on the mic icon. So in this video, we navigated to Pro Mode and looked at the three sound modes with just the DJI Pocket 2's onboard mics. We also saw a less expensive way to hook up a wired lavalier mic with USB-C mic adapter too. So let me know in the comments below if you knew about these modes for the DJI Pocket 2. As always, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and check out this video right here.